Hello friends. I miss you all very much. As it says right there, I miss you. And I cannot wait to see you again. Um, so today I'm going to read a story called A Baby Penguin Story. Okay. Um, and then you can decide whether this is fiction or nonfiction. And I want you to think about how do you know it's fiction or how do you know that it's a nonfiction story? So go ahead and turn and talk about that to either your adult, if they're with you, or maybe your older brother or sister or your little brother or sister. Or just turn and talk to yourself. That's okay too. Okay, so, um, and in this nonfiction story, we are going to do this. I can identify the topic and key details. I'm gonna read it one more time and you can read it along with me right here. It says, I can identify the topic and key details. I'm gonna ask you to do a mirrors on that and you remember mirrors, mirrors, Repeat after me, try to do this mirrors with me, even if it's on video. I think that would be really cool if you could do it. So repeat after me. I can, I can identify, identify the topic, the topic and key details and key details. Okay, mirrors off. I hope that worked for you guys. So, um, we were talking about the topic and the key details right before we got out of school. So I want to review it again because when we're reading stories like this, I'm not going to tell you whether it's fiction or nonfiction. You are going to figure it out yourself. When we read stories like this, we usually do look at the text to identify the topic of the book and the key details of the book. And I'm gonna just do a review of what the topic and the key details means. Um, again, it says, I can identify the topic and key details. Again, do you, we use our, our hands in class so it helps us, the topic and the key details. And let me tell you what the topic again means. The topic means, The topic means what the story is mostly about. That's what the topic means when we read texts like a baby penguin story. Okay? Okay. Now everybody say key details. Key details. What key details means are they are the important parts of the story. So they talk about the who, okay? They talk about the what, they talk about when, they talk about where, and they talk about why, okay? So the topic means what the story is mostly about, and the key details are the important parts in the story that talk about the topic of the whole book, okay? And so hopefully you're starting to remember, but whenever we talked about the topic and key details of each story that we read, I always had one of these charts for you. We always drew a hand like that. And then we always identified the topic which is what the story is mostly about right here in the middle of the hand. That's why it talks about the whole book, okay? So what is the whole book about in this book, okay? And then the key details are each of these little details that relate back to the topic. They are the important parts of the topic, okay? So one little finger could mean a key detail. Usually we talk about the five, five of the most important details, but if there are so many more key details that you know, then you could talk about them too, okay? So those, um, that is how we talked about what the topic 
and the key details in a story means. Okay, so now that we just had a review of what the topic and the key details means, we are gonna go ahead and read the story, okay? Um, I just wanna let you know that there will be a lot of turning and talking and think or thinking aloud to yourself because I'm gonna be asking a lot of questions so that we understand what we're reading, okay? So here are some questions and you can remember to pause the video so that you can think about it or so that you can talk about it, okay? The first question is, what do you think the story is going to be about and how do you know? And it's important to answer how you know because that lets you refer back to the text. It lets you look back at the text. So go ahead and turn and talk to yourself or whoever's next to you and answer what you think the story is going to be about. We're gonna move on ahead to the next question once you're done, okay? The next questions I'm gonna ask are, what do you want to know about the story or what are you wondering about the story? And remember, we did talk about asking questions that we want to know because that's what readers do. Readers ask questions to help them understand. And there are two different ways that we answer them. You can answer in another way, but um, when we talk about what we want to know or what we're wondering, we always said this. I want to know, da 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 da, or I wonder, da 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 da. Okay? So I'll leave it right there as you turn and think aloud to yourself or you turn and talk to whoever is next to you. I want to know, what do you want to know? Or I wonder, what are you wondering about the story? Okay, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and go right into the story, okay? And as I'm reading, try to really identify what the topic of this whole book is, and then try to think about the key details, which are the important parts of the story that are about the topic, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. A Baby Penguin Story by Martha E. H. Rustat and Gail Saunders Smith. They wrote the story, so they are the authors. Yep. How many syllables are in the word authors? Authors. Hmm. Okay, you can figure that out. Okay, here we go. A white egg sits in a rocky nest. A tired dad sits on top. Pip, the egg cracks. Hmm. Out hatches a fluffy penguin. Cheep, chatter, peep. The tiny chick is hungry. Its mom spits up fish into its open mouth. Wow, I'm gonna reread, I'm gonna use my reread power. Its mom spits up fish into its open mouth. Now, that might seem gross, but that's how a lot of, um, how a lot of uh, animal parents feed their babies. That's how a lot of different animals do it. Brr, shiver, ah, cuddle. Mom huddles around her chick. In its icy world, the chick stays warm. Okay. So I'm going to ask a question as I show you the pictures, but what did you learn about how adult penguins take care of their babies or chicks? And you can think about that to yourself. You can say it aloud to yourself or turn and talk to whoever is next to you. Hello, who are you? The chick finds friends in its colony. Baby chick plays while their parents find food. Baby chicks play while their parents find food. Waddle, waddle, belly slide. The young penguins go for an icy ride. Back they hop across 
the rocky ground. Molt, scratch, pick. Fluffy feathers fall off the chick. With its beak, it preens new waterproof feathers. Also, as I'm showing you the uh, pictures, what did you learn about how penguin chicks play? Think out loud to yourself or turn and talk to your partner. And remember, you can pause, if you can, to help you think so that you can have time to think. I wanna give you lots of think time, okay? <clears throat> Splish, splash, it's time to learn swift swimming skills. The penguin chick needs speed to catch a tasty swarm of a krill. You go first. No, you jump in. Through, old, through cold ocean waves, penguins seem to fly. Their wings act as flippers. Whoa. So I'm thinking that I'm, what I'm learning from here is that penguins know how to swim. And it looks like they know how to fly underwater. Hmm, I wonder if they know how to fly um, out of the water. Oh, I just asked a question. I said, I wonder if they know how to fly out of the water too, or in the air. So think about what else you want to know or what else you wonder about penguins. The chick swims up for air. It dives down deep. Catches fish, swallow it live. Yum! Now it's time for goodbye. The young penguin is off to catch fishy snacks. Someday it will return to build its own nest. So as I'm showing you these pictures, think about what did you learn about how penguins move through water? And you can turn to your partner or you can um, think aloud to yourself. The end. If you liked the story, you could give a silent applause. And by the way, everyone, this says glossary. Can everyone say glossary? A glossary is at the back of a certain type of book, either fiction or nonfiction, still not telling you what it is. And it talks about the different types of new words, vocabulary words that you could keep learning while you're reading this type of book, okay? <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the topic and key details. Okay, I want everyone to say that with me. Topic and key details, okay? So <clears throat> you can um, say whether this is right or wrong, and then you can find out to see what the real thing is. But um, if I wanna talk about the topic of the story, <clears throat> everyone say topic. Um, if I'm gonna talk about the topic of the story, uh, is the topic all about, um, uh, penguins finding food? Is it talk about the snow? I don't know. I don't think so because that's about the, it's not about the whole book. That just talks about one page of the story. Okay. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna ask another question whether if something, if, whether if something is the topic and I want you to answer right away yes or no if that's the topic, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, well this page here says fluffy feathers fall off the chick. So is the whole entire book all about feathers? Is that what the topic of this book is all about? Yes or no? And then tell why. Pause to tell why. Okay, so after you did that, now I'm gonna tell you, might as well, the whole topic of the book is all about, say it, penguins. It's all about penguins. So I'm gonna write it, whoopsies, I'm gonna write it 
right here and talk about the topic, which is all about penguins. Oops, I'm gonna use my red pen because we use red to talk about the topic. The topic is about penguins. And I will try my best to draw a picture of a penguin. Okay, there we go. The topic is all about penguins. And then I'm gonna put it right here in the middle because that's what the whole book is about. That's why it's in the middle of our hands as the topic, okay? Now, I'm gonna think of one key detail and I'm gonna look back at my book to help me figure out what was one important detail of the story, okay? That is about the topic, okay? Let me think here. Um, let me see here. Um, oh, wow, this was a really interesting detail to me. I'm gonna reread this part right here. <clears throat> the tiny chick is hungry. Its mom spits up fish into its open mouth. Oh, so the mom spitting up fish into its open mouth. Wow, that is a really cool detail. I'm gonna use one of these to write it down. One of the smaller tiny pieces of paper. So the mom spits fish into a penguin's mouth. And maybe I'll draw a picture of it too so it can help me remember. So the mom penguin or the big adult penguin spits up tiny, tiny, itty bitty pieces of fish into a baby penguin's mouth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there you go. The mom spits up uh spits fish into a penguin's mouth. What a cool detail. Maybe gross, but hey, that's what people do, or that's what penguins do, excuse me. So that is one key detail. Now here's a question. That's one key detail that I found in the book. Is that about the topic, which is about penguins? Yes or no, okay? Okay, so it is your turn. I want you to find out the rest of the key details that you thought were most interesting or important um, and draw pictures of them. Or you can do exactly what I did here with the hand and the topic and doing the key details um, and ask your families to send it to me because I would love to see it, okay? Um, remember that you can rewind this video so that you can look back at some of the parts I read. Um, so there you are. All right, I miss all of you. Have a great week. And I am really, 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 really excited to see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.